Welcome back to MMA Al Dente. Bobby Green versus Jared Flash Gordon. King Bobby Green, which, by the way, he, I think, was talking about changing his name or something. I don't know. I'll look into that. Either way, Bobby Green, he's 36 years old. He's got one inch of height and three inches of reach on 34-year-old Jared Gordon. These guys both have a good amount of experience, but, of course, Bobby Green's is much more valuable. Green has a record of 29-14-1. and one. Jared Gordon has a record of 19-6. and six. I'll start with Bobby Green. Bobby Green has 29 wins, 10 via knockout, 8 via submission, 11 via decision. Very versatile guy. Green is first and foremost a wrestler, but as an MMA fighter, he's always going to be known as a boxer. The boxing has trumped the wrestling for a long time at this point. Uh, he's very slick. Bobby Green loves to talk shit, loves to uh, stay in your face, keep that pressure. He's... Uh, Got really strong, accurate punches, but I wouldn't say he's a power puncher. He's more of a volume guy, but he's uh, got deceptively good finishing power. And in this fight, it wouldn't surprise me in particular if he was able to get a finish, because Jared Gordon's got four of his six losses coming by knockout. The thing is, it wouldn't surprise me at all if Jared Gordon won a decision, considering Jared, Jared Gordon's decision record is 11-1. Bobby Green's, despite many of the decisions being close, his decision record is 11-8. and eight. So, Jared Gordon's definitely the better decision fighter. Bobby Green, he, he's fought much better competition, though. So, you know, that's the reason he lost, to some, uh, lost so many times. Every one of them's against a good fighter. And I'll get into it here. Green lost four times by knockout. Once to Drew Dober, once to Islam Makachev. Dustin Poirier and Tim Means. Tim Means got him out of there with a corner stoppage of round two. Islam Makachev got him out of there with a full mount, ground and pound. Dustin Poirier and Drew Dober are the only two guys to crack his chin. And sure, the Dober loss did happen in his last fight, and now he's 36. So it's fair to assume that his chin has been somewhat compromised. But I don't know. Drew Dober's got exceptional power, and Jared Gordon does not. Even though Gordon's a good, a very good striker, very, very good striker and wrestler, he's a very underrated fighter, Jared Gordon. But I don't think he's got the power, especially being a former featherweight, to uh, crack Bobby Green's chin. Green has two submission losses. They both come way back when, back when Ronnie Yaya was getting finished. He lost to David Mitchell and Dan Lozon, two very capable fighters. Uh, Dan is Joe Lozon's brother. I hope you know who Joe Lozon is. I don't know. But uh, either way, uh, the decision losses, many of them are controversial for Bobby Green. And they're all to excellent fighters. Edson Barboza, Rashid Magomedov, Drakkar Klaus, Francisco Trinaldo, Tiago Moises, Rafael Fazeev, and Jesus Calvacante. You only got to submit Ronnie Yaya. Uh, so Bobby Green is definitely a... Uh, you know, really tough guy to dominate, really tough guy to beat, first and foremost. Jared Gordon, though, he's he's underrated, Jared Gordon. I think he's up against it here because he's fighting a more natural lightweight who might, you know, have him beaten as far as all of Jared Gordon's strengths go. I think uh, Bobby Green might be a better, bigger version of him. But Jared Gordon is still a very slick guy on his feet. You know, uh, he's got two submission victories, but six TKOs and his 19 wins, and then 11 decisions. That's his primary strength. Again, he's 11 and one as a point fighter uh, in decisions, and even that one loss was against Patty Pimblett, which is famous for being a fucking robbery. Although after the Pudalova fight, it doesn't seem like the biggest robbery. But of course, you know, with Patty Pimblett being who he is, uh, that word was bound to get thrown out there. Listen to me. I think I threw it out there myself. Either way, my point is he could easily be 12-0 and in decisions. Of course, he could have easily lost decisions in other fights if he was more durable. That's the thing. He's got six losses. Four of them come via knockout, and one of them via submission. Those were in the UFC. Grant Dawson got him out of there with a third-round submission. Grant Dawson's fucking amazing, in case you don't know. And then he was knocked out four times. Once was a doctor stoppage on the regional scene to Jeff Lentz, current, uh, you know, I, I don't know if he's a current fighter, but he's a regional fighter around here, around my neck of the woods. And he also lost to Charles Oliveira, Carlos Diego Fajeda, and Joaquin Silva. 
three Brazilian jiu-jitsu guys, and they all knocked them out. No, but they all have really capable striking, and they're very, uh, you know, very solid athletes. But they were able to knock him out. Uh, Joaquin Silva got him out of there in round three. Carlos Diego Fajeda and Charles Oliveira got him out of there in round one. I don't trust Jared Gordon's chin, I'll be honest. And I do think there's room for Bobby Green to knock him out. I don't think a lot of people expect that. But I think if Bobby Green does win a fight, he's probably winning a boxing match. And with a potentially compromised chin in Jared Gordon and Bobby Green, not that he's got the most power, but he's going to touch that chin much more so than most. I do think Bobby Green could get him out of there via knockout. Still, I think um, my pick is Bobby Green wins a decision. That's my pick, but I think there's sprinkles to be sprinkled on Bobby Green by knockout and Jared Gordon by decision. Bobby Green by finish overall is plus 300, uh, and Jared Gordon by decision is plus plus 375. Yeah, they got that one wrong, because if Jared Gordon does win, it's by decision. Even with the recent knockout loss to Drew Dober and whatever, Jared Gordon probably won't, won't knock him out, and I'd say certainly won't submit him. If he wins, 90-something percent of his paths to victory are via decision. So definitely value on that if you think there's any value on Gordon. But again, I'm going with Bobby Green here. I think he's going to be a uniquely bad matchup for Jared Gordon. You know, Bobby Green uh, has wrestling in his back pocket, or at least he did it once. And I'm sure he's going to use it defensively here. And he's also got slick boxing in particular, which uh, should match uh, Jared Gordon's striking. So take him Bobby Green. Like, share, subscribe, all that horse shit. Check out my other videos.